what are the prerequisites for a good phd so far as the candidate is concerned though i have spoken about some of the important issues in two videos earlier i feel still some confusion is there and i'm happy that people of an especially aspirants of an ask certain things academic questions technical questions regarding the mechanics of research writing and other associated things at sometimes it's difficult to answer individually so certain points i would like to uh, stress on once again the first thing is we have to understand it very clearly that phd is different from taught courses like ba ma and phd all this form part of higher education but even within that ba and ma are largely taught courses at least in our part of the world though we have some assignment papers which can be treated as miniature research papers but the major content of these courses are taught and students are tested on the basis of those teachings that is the prime component phd is exactly the opposite though oblate uh, a component called coursework has been introduced everywhere but this is not actually a taught course phd by and large depends on the original thinking of the scholar and more importantly or perhaps equally importantly the uh, the tenacity it's more about tenacity patience the ability to stick to a topic for a certain period of time then only brilliance or erudition etc so that is why before starting two things uh, have to be there i believe this is about the prerequisites you know uh you know with what qualification you should enter technical qualification of course are there ma net etc but within that if we further explore there are two things which are going to be very important i'm of course speaking from the point of view of you know researchers in english studies primarily literature and cultural studies one is the broad knowledge it is essential that whoever takes you know uh, or wants to be admitted in a phd course should have at least a broad understanding and a thorough understanding of the greater field of english literature it cannot be obviously very thorough because we cannot have expertise on everything but still a broad idea of say the entire range of english literature the range i don't mean to say that one has to have read you know all the text that is bizarre nobody can do that but the range where things are the entire english literary history specifically british history then some uh, post colonial some theory some american all these things are there that is the broad range uh, you know in many universities people ask students about the broad ideas along with broad then the second thing which is of course more important is the narrow thing that is the area that you are going to research on since it is not a taught course so though course work is there but most institutions uh, before they let you in ask you about your idea you know your idea regarding what you are going to do exactly you may not be able to fashion it theoretically or stylistically without a course work but before you make even an entry it is expected that a student you know has some idea about the field that he wants to delve deep into it could be author it could be text you know even these days it could be film music anything but then what are your ideas regarding that subject that you are going to choose to do i mean uh, you are going to choose for research so this is also equally important so it is better to have both these ideas 
one is the broad idea about english literature which of course the ba and ma courses that one has already undergone are expected to give a student and in addition you know at least some idea about the field that one is ready to take up you know after admission in the future uh, it can be more than one field also so, so some ideas and there especially you have to look into both what has been done in a particular field and what has not been done if we take the romantic poets for inter for you know for instance lot of works have already been done on say the, this nature in romanticism that's a cliche thing also uh, psychoanalytical aspects of romantic poets or revolutionary aspects all this have been done and in fact overdone but what perhaps you know has not been done or has not been done in so much detail is for instance the the indian connections of romantic poets it does not mean connection by blood but connection by affiliation i must say as many of them are interested like coleridge for instance so the new lot of things or say you know so slave trade and romantic literature so this kind of things are new and while some works have been done but there is still a lot that can be done jane austen and slavery for instance jane austen and empire as such works have been done after side but not so much on slavery there are still it is possible to do some more work on her attitude to slavery so these unexplored areas one has to look for definitely the guides will be there uh, the research committees will be there they will help you but it is always better to have your ideas at least some ideas so that you are already in an advantageous position uh, you know when you start the research so i think these three are the main things that i wanted to say broad area uh, short area or narrow area then within the short area you know a an overall idea of the kind of works that have been done and those that have not been done so i would like to conclude here today you may look into my other videos for details i'll give the link here and some other model research paper maybe in the comments